What's up guys, this is Will, Will H Tech Review back with another video. And today we're gonna be taking a look at, taking a look at Samsung DeX working on my smart TV uh, wirelessly through my Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G. So uh, this is a great feature that I wanted to showcase, uh, let you guys see how you can use your, your Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra to wirelessly connect to your TV, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. And this is my little setup right here. So I got my mouse over here hooked up, as you guys can see. It's hooked up to my Samsung Galaxy Note 20 already, right here. And I can stroll through and I can do whatever I want there. And I also have my keyboard set up here, hooked up. And as you guys can see, I can type whatever I want. So that could be my whole little setup right there without even jumping into decks or doing anything with this. But I wanna show you guys how uh, you can use this DeX on any monitor, but I wanna show you using it on my big 55 inch TV. So this is my setup here. Let's cut to the TV and I'm gonna show you how to hook DeX up to your TV. Okay guys, so I have my smartphone turned on here and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you can connect to your TV. So this is a TCL. 55 inch smart TV, Roku TV. So what you have to do, you have to get your phone and go over to your drop down menu, uh, select DeX. Then you're gonna be prompted with this message here, start Samsung DeX on your 55 inch TCL Roku TV. And you simply just press start now. Now this will be different with your TV set, uh, depends on what TV you have or monitor. Make sure that it will work with DeX so this is what comes up on your TV. Allow, always allow, allow, block, or always block. This is what your phone looks like. So I'm gonna take my TV remote, go ahead and press allow, and DeX should pop up on my TV in a second here. And there is Samsung DeX. You do get a little bit of a notification on your phone. And so now we are into Samsung DeX. So I have my Bluetooth mouse here and my uh, Bluetooth keyboard and there's my pointer moving and as you guys can see uh, no latency at all so this is what they call the desktop on DeX on the desktop I can uh, sort by clean up page stream zoom and I could also change the wallpaper if I want and uh, so that is a start on it these are the apps that are on my phone these apps are can be moved wherever you want them to go. And uh, you can set this up just like you want. So down at the bottom over here to your left, this is how you get into all of your apps that are on your device. And these apps can be added to the home screen. So if I want a YouTube studio added to my home screen, I just simply grab it and drag it and, and drop it wherever I want. So the next button, next over here, is this shows all of the apps that you have running in the background. So I can close them out individually or I can close them out all together right there. And then the next button, this is your home button. So wherever you are and whatever app you're in, you hit this button, it'll take you home. So over here to your right, where my point is now, this says the keyboard. So what this does, if I click this, it takes me and let me use the keyboard that is on my phone instead of my Bluetooth keyboard. And you can also use your phone as a, uh, as a touchpad as well. So I'm gonna uncheck that because I wanna use my Bluetooth keyboard. I can control my volume uh, on my, all my notifications, phones, everything. And by the way, my phone is still functional. I can use it to uh, make phone calls, message, uh, do social media, whatever I want to do, do, my phone is still very much used, uh, usable. I can take a screenshot over here. I can get into all my notifications, interact with them. I do have my Wi-Fi signal here. I have my battery percentage on my phone and the time. So that is uh, pretty much the setup there. So let's take a look at some apps running on here. So uh, let's go ahead and open up YouTube. And as you see, it can open up full screen. The whole 55 inch uh, display is being used by YouTube. And a question that I had when I first tried this out 
is does the, the sound come from the phone or does it come from the TV? Well, the sound comes from the TV. Uh, and as you guys can see, it's definitely playing, playing through my TV set, which is nice. Now I have hooked it up to other devices and the sound would only play through my phone. But uh, as you guys can see, this is the full 4K 55 inch TV and uh, you can utilize it like that, which is great. So I'm gonna go down here and hit this home button. Well, I'm gonna stop the video first because it'll keep playing. So I'm gonna hit that home button that I'm telling you guys about and drop it down all the way. So when the app is still open in the background, you'll see it in the middle here. I can go ahead and expand it back open. So now what I'm gonna do is minimize it and I can move this wherever I want. I'm gonna move it over there and I can resize this. Uh, window if I want Just simply grabbing it here and resizing it so with a 55 inch display You can run a bunch of apps at one time So if I wanted to open up the app store and download some apps, I can do that I can uh, as you guys saw right there. I'm going to show you how I did that uh, I'm going to minimize it again So it came in this side here this size when it first opened and this I can I can resize this as well but if I wanted to uh, snap it to full stream, just drag it up to the top and it snaps full stream. So that is a uh, new thing that they added with the last update that they had uh, come out. So as you guys can see, I can run minimal, uh, shrink, shrink these downs in size and run all kinds of apps in the background uh, at one time. So I can have this video going over here and I can still be over here uh, looking for games or whatever I need to do on my on the Play Store. So I can have that over there. And if I wanted to do some social media, I can go into social media. Let's go to Twitter. And I could load up Twitter. And I could be searching on Twitter. But as you saw, that stopped. So I get that video going again. I can like something on Twitter. And I got all of this stuff going at the same time. And this is all wirelessly. And it's great. So what about playing games? Well, I don't have a Bluetooth controller. If you have a Bluetooth controller, you can definitely play games on here. Uh, here's one that I know will play with the, with the mouse. And it's just a little simple little game. That, uh, that you can play, uh, so it's just simple. So so that game will play with the mouse, and uh, I imagine some games you can play with the mouse and keyboard, but I haven't dug into it like that. So if you wanted to use this to, do, uh, to work on your documents and things of that nature, I use Google Docs, so I'm gonna go up here. I'm not gonna look for it. I'm gonna take my Bluetooth keyboard uh, and search for it. All right, so I just type in a few letters there and here it is here, Google Docs. So now I can go in and I can choose whatever document I got here and I'll have this big, huge 55 inch display to work on with my keyboard and my mouse. So, all right guys, so that is a look at Samsung Dex on a big screen here using it wirelessly with my Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. And you can also use it with your Samsung Galaxy Note 20, uh, the regular version of it. So, all right guys, catch you guys in the next video. Will H, and I'm out.